Hey, this is Danielle from Danielle.io and at the end of this video, you will have six categories of digital products that you can sell online. But within those six categories, we're going to cover a bunch of different types of products that you can create that are digital and that you can sell online. And I personally love selling digital products online. What I love about them is that you don't actually have to go and physically ship them at the post office. All you have to do is create a product that people actually want. And once you create the product in your online store and sell it there, once a client purchases it, it'll go directly to their email and they'll be able to download it directly. So you don't have to be there to fulfill those orders. If you'd like to learn more about how to sell digital goods online, check out this Equid e-commerce tutorial where I go into detail about how to create an online store store for a very low cost and be able to sell digital products quickly and easily. Now, if you like this content in this video at any moment, definitely hit the subscribe button and like this video. Let's dive right in. So the first type of digital product that you can sell online are eBooks. Now you've probably already heard this one before, but let's dive into what an eBook can actually be. An eBook can be a book, a novel, a guide, a story, a script, a journal, a coloring book. It could be a recipe book. There's so many different things that you can make into a book format. And eBooks don't have to be stale in a sense that it's just words or text. You can add images, you can embed videos. For example, in my online store, I have a couple eBooks that I sell where I teach how to sell online. And in my eBook, I have links to my videos on my YouTube channel that help demonstrate exactly what I'm talking about in my eBooks. It's very helpful for people to have that visual content also while also having the written content. Making eBooks is actually very, very easy and I show exactly how to make an eBook for free in this video. Definitely check it out if you're thinking about making an eBook no matter what niche you're in. This tutorial goes into detail about how to make an eBook quickly, easily, and for free. The next type of digital product that you could sell online consists in printables. Printables are very easy to make. If you know how to use a Word document or Google Docs, just follow the tutorial in the video above where I showed how to make an ebook. Just open up Google Drive and create a printable document that people actually need and will pay for. If they don't pay for it, you can use it as a lead generation on your online store. So let's say for example, you have someone download a free document or a free printable from your online store. You can capture that lead, get their email, and then send them other information to try to bring them into a funnel where they'll eventually make a purchase in your online store. So let's talk a little bit about what printables can be. It can consist in coloring book pages, maps, posters, designs, wall art, patterns for crochet, for example. It can be checklists. It can be printables that you cut out and then make into something physical. There's so many things that you can do with printables that people will actually pay for. If you're interested in making printables, the video that I have about making eBooks can actually be very helpful. If you wanna make printables and sell them online, you can actually just use your Google Drive if you have a Gmail account or Microsoft Word if you have it on your computer and just create a document that you know your audience will be interested in, maybe for free or that they'll pay for. The third type of digital product that you can sell online consists in audio files. And within that, there are so many different ideas. There is music, podcasts, recordings, beats, jingles, ghost music content, or background music. And those are just a couple ideas. If you have any musical talent, if you know how to play an instrument, or if you know how to create digital music, you could always do that and sell it online. Within the audio file category, we also put podcasts. And there are people who are actually selling memberships to paid podcasts. It could be a great way to make sure that your podcast is continually monetized. If you're interested in learning how to make a podcast and how to monetize it, definitely check out the video above. It goes into detail about a course called Project 24. We highly recommend that course. It contains a course about how to create a podcast and how to monetize it. The fourth category of digital products that you can sell online is photography. You could sell your own photos or videos that you have the rights to. Of course, make sure that if you have any models or people that are showing in your photos or videos that you have the authorization to share their image. Just make sure that you have the necessary releases and other legal requirements depending on where you're selling and who you're selling to. If you have any questions, reach out to a qualified attorney in your jurisdiction. The fifth type of digital goods that you can sell online are courses. You can sell courses in a variety of different formats. You can actually sell a course in a PDF format, so in a written format, it can be videos, it could be in podcasts, it can be in audio content. 
and a digital course can contain multiple types of digital goods. If you want to add a checklist in there, if you want to add printables, music files, there's so many different things that you can include in a course as long as it's useful for your audience and that they'll want to purchase it, of course. The sixth type of digital good that you can sell online consists in code. Now this is specifically for developers or people who have experience with code. You could sell web elements, CSS code, HTML code, templates and games, things that you created yourself. If you'd like to sell digital goods online, it's pretty much anything that you can download that you have the rights to sell online. And that's really important. Make sure that you actually have the rights to sell these things before you get started selling them online. If you'd like to get started selling your digital goods online, definitely check out the webinar above. I go into detail about how to create an online store with Equid e-commerce and specifically how to sell digital goods online. If you already have a website, you can actually embed Equid e-commerce to your existing website. May that be with WordPress, Wix, Weebly, Squarespace, or with another website builder. If you're a small or medium sized business owner and you'd like to learn more about how to sell online, definitely subscribe to this channel and like this video. Thanks so much for watching.